What is CSF? CSF is a Jesus-centered community that is about sharing the good news and good life of Jesus with everyone at UK. So I started CSF in 2005, so it's my 17th school year. I basically went to college in the fall of 1990, and really I kind of never left college because even before CSF, I was involved in college ministry at a church setting and then came here. I think CSF, uh, sometimes, you know, people who like maybe sometimes a little more noise, uh, a little a little bigger setting, I think is comfortable. I think one of the underappreciated things maybe somebody on the outside of CSF doesn't realize, though, is how hard we work to make things small. That it isn't just about the big events. We really do, 35 staff members here, work hard to not just throw big events, but to have really small, intimate moments, intimate conversations. Obviously, we don't force people to do it in weird ways. Tell us all your deepest, darkest secrets. But, um, but we want, uh, yeah, I would say that probably, maybe it's a little bit noisier, but I, I don't know. We're, we're pretty similar to other places as well, though, too. Yeah. CSF was found in 1958. And we have been a presence on the UK campus ever since. In the mid-80s, for a variety of reasons, CSF's kind of footprint on campus in terms of the number of students participate got fairly small. In 1987, we hired a guy named Lynn Buckles, who was here for about a dozen years. He took CSF from a group of maybe 15, 20 people, grew to a group, consistent group of about 60 students over his 12 years here. Another guy named Rob McDowell came in from 99 to 2005, took that group of 60 and grew it to about 150, 170. And then, you know, we've seen CSF now reaching hundreds, you know, thousands of students with all the different events that we do. Um, so that's fun. It's obviously fun to see lots of people come around, but you never want to judge your your quote unquote success by how many people you attract. Yes, reaching lots of people is fun. But I think for me, uh, I've just seen CSF all over the years before I was ever here, kind of try to just be faithful to uh, what God's called us to do, which is to just help students grow up in the love of God. Um, and so, uh, yeah, there's fun things about seeing large groups, but you don't just want to say, wow, we had a thousand people at some event, we did a good job. That's, that's not how we would measure success. Because CSF's heart is for the Lord at all times, like, it just naturally produces maturity and change in the students that are involved here. Because just the character of God, like, he doesn't leave you where you are. He's always inviting you into more freedom and more um, just, like, deepness with him. And so that being CSF's heart to invite students into the heart of God, it just naturally produces um, growth and maturity out of that. I guess I would say that community is worth it. And like, it's not always easy. Like the best community is community that you fight for and you have the hard conversations because you care about a friend and you're not just gonna write them off, you know, because they said something that hurt your feelings. Like, good community is, you have to fight for it, um, but especially the community of God um, produces eternal fruit that is not just of this world, but goes way beyond this world. It's so like, I'm gonna be having this community in heaven too. It's not just the next four years, you know, it's about it forever, so. <laughs> My favorite part about CSF would definitely be the friendships. Um, it's just been a way to like meet new people and whenever you meet one person, they know another person and it creates this whole atmosphere of like a family where we can all just be together. My favorite part about CSF is um, the accountability that people provide. Like everyone's trying to make everyone be a better version of themselves, um, grow closer to God, everything, just accountability that people provide. How have you found community? by being at CSF? Hmm. I think they do a really good job at giving us things to do like literally every night. They always have things that they want us to be at. And like I said, they want to know our names. They want to introduce us to new people and get us really involved. Like the community is really about like enjoying being where you are, but also serving. 
And so that's created new friendships by like where you're serving or what shift group you're in. It just gives you, there are a lot of different opportunities to meet new people. You're never not like in community with another person. A big thing that CSF does is during K week, they uh, throw a bunch of events. So that was a really good thing for me to go to, um, go to all their events, meet a lot of people, have a lot of fun, just something to do. Um, so I wasn't just like sitting in my dorm room by myself. Like I actually went out, met people, um, had fun, just enjoyed my time as my first week as a college student. To have like consistent people that are pouring into me that I'm pouring into. Um, I think that consistency and that faithfulness has been really huge for me because before coming to CSF, I just like had friends here and there. Nothing was ever like super consistent, but CSF has really taught me like the faithfulness that friendships can have. Um, so the one thing I've learned about community is um, just how to do life with people. Like um, college is kind of a unique experience where we're all in the same place for four years. Um, and so we can do a lot together. Like all of us eat at the 90, all of us eat at champs. Um, and so just having a group of people that you can be around all the time, I think is really powerful. Have you seen growth in your boys and girls through the community cultivated at CSF? I would say in the girls that I lead, I've seen them fight for their friendships and not just like be passive. Um, in their relationships, but truly like seek one another out and like learn how to love each other well um, and not just like go through the motions of like college life, but really like how they can be like cheering each other on um, in whatever is going on in their lives. So I think that's been really cool. I've also seen them like grow um, just in the way that they pursue the Lord. Like there's such a difference from like last semester to this semester just in the way that like we've become more vulnerable with each other and like what is like really going on um, in our relationships with God um, and how like they just are like so much more welcoming. So one way I've seen my shift guys grow um, is inviting other people in. Um, so coming into shift, a lot of the guys that are in my group were all friends in high school. So a lot of them went to LCA, Lexington Christian Academy. Um, here in town. Um, but it's been really cool to see the conversations and interactions they have with people who are not from Lexington. Mm -hmm. um, and so with those relationships forming, um, kind of creating a, a bigger group of a lot of different perspectives has been really cool to see them grow in that way. Part of the future of CSF is, is this new building. That's not all of it. But it is a key point for our future in that for the last 10 years, we've been dreaming and planning and uh, trying to not get in trouble with the fire marshal because our previous building just couldn't handle the capacity of people. And so we have this new building that's coming open uh, next school year sometime. It should be open. It features uh, you know, a worship center with probably you know 600 people or so capacity. It's got an industrial kitchen for all of the, the meals and food that we do because one of the key things about CSF, people go, man, that's, you know, that's a lot. That's expensive to build a kitchen like that. But we want CSF to be a home for people. It's one of the reasons we put a basketball court, a volleyball court, whatever, a new facility in, in there because we want students to just come and hang out, play video games, study late at night. We really want this to be a home away from home. And for students who don't even believe, they're not even Christians, one of the things that we've said so many times over the years is we want CSF to be a place where students feel like they belong even before they believe. CSF is a home for people that don't really have their place yet. CSF is a place where people can find um, union, unity with God and with other people that are pursuing the same thing that they want to pursue. CSF is a place where you can belong before you believe. CSF is the most hospitable place on earth. CSF is a Jesus-centered community that is about sharing the good news and good life of Jesus with everyone at UK. CSF is a place that you can belong before you believe.